While the West still believes it remains the sole force capable of building the largest and most efficient wide-body aircraft like the A350 or the 777X somewhere in Eastern Europe, Russia has quietly achieved a remarkable breakthrough. The IL-96, once considered an outdated symbol of Russian aviation, has just undergone a dramatic transformation at its very core, its engine a change that could reshape the global aviation landscape and make Rolls-Royce and GE genuinely uneasy. So what makes the IL-96 suddenly so formidable? Why could a single change in its power source make the West tremble? Let's find out. After the collapse of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, the shortcomings of Russian aviation became evident through its deep dependence on foreign aircraft, particularly Boeing and Airbus, which came to account for over 80% of the fleets of major Russian airlines. The root cause lay in the collapse of research and development R&D investment and the inability of domestic products such as the IL-96-2204 or Yakovlev Yak-42 to meet the economic standards of the free market. Russian aircraft were often criticized for excessive fuel consumption, high maintenance costs, and non-compliance with Western noise and emission regulations, which led to their exclusion from many international routes. The absence of a comprehensive commercial strategy combined with chronic issues in the supply chain for modern components, especially avionics and high-performance engines, made it impossible for Russian manufacturers like Ilyushin Tupolev and Sukhoi to compete in terms of cost reliability and operational efficiency. As a result, Moscow's aviation industry struggled with technological dependence for decades until recent Western sanctions created massive pressure that forced the revival of domestic aircraft programs, with the Il-96-400M being a prime example. The ambitious yet unfinished development of the Ilyushin Il-96 series stands as a clear reflection of the stagnation that plagued Russia's civil aviation industry in the post-Soviet era. Despite inheriting a strong technological foundation from the Soviet Union and possessing full manufacturing capability, the industry failed to transition from a planned economy model to a competitive global market system. To understand the birth of the IL-96-400M, we must return to the 1970s when Ilyushin IL-86 Moscow's first wide-body airliner was introduced. It was a groundbreaking design for its time built for long-haul routes and featuring innovative solutions most notably built-in boarding stairs, which allowed the aircraft to operate at airports with limited infrastructure. However, this convenience came at the cost of reduced cargo capacity. By the late 1980s, Russia needed a more competitive model leading to the development of the IL-96-300. Far more than an upgrade, it was equipped with the PS-90 turbofan engines marking the first time a Russian aircraft achieved performance comparable to Western rivals in terms of range and fuel efficiency. Yet despite high expectations that it would become the backbone of domestic civil aviation, the IL-96-300 failed to gain commercial success. The PS-90A engines, while powerful, were still not fuel-efficient enough compared to those from Rolls-Royce or GE, as airlines increasingly prioritized lower operating costs. To address these shortcomings, Russia introduced the IL-96-400 in the early 2000s, a stretched and upgraded version featuring improved aerodynamics, advanced avionics, and extended range and capacity. However, as the global market rapidly shifted toward twin-engine fuel-efficient jets, four-engine airliners like the IL-96-400 quickly lost relevance, especially in a market dominated by Boeing and Airbus. Yet just when it seemed the story had come to an end, a new chapter began. Driven by Western sanctions and the growing need for domestic aircraft production, Russia revived the IL-96 program, giving birth to the IL-96-400M, a modernized version offering greater range, improved efficiency, and one particularly powerful secret weapon. This is not merely a technical achievement, but a bold statement of intent, Moscow's determination to reclaim its place in the wide-body aircraft market. And since the project's announcement, the belief that this aircraft could reshape the future of global aviation has been spreading rapidly. More importantly, the secret weapon that gives the new IL-96 its strength is arousing more curiosity than ever before. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. When evaluating the performance of the IL-96-400M, the aircraft proudly boasts an impressive range of around 10,000 kilometers, an ideal figure for long-haul international routes. However, Russian engineers soon realized that the four-engine configuration once considered a symbol of reliability was no longer viable in an era when the aviation industry is shifting toward twin-engine aircraft optimized for fuel efficiency and lower operating costs. Still, the advantages of such a design remain evident, Four engines provide higher safety margins, especially on routes crossing oceans or remote regions where emergency landing options are limited. This makes the aircraft suitable for certain specialized operations. 
In contrast, the drawbacks are equally clear higher maintenance costs and greater fuel consumption compared to twin-engine rivals such as the Boeing 777X and Airbus A350-1000. This trade-off ultimately became the driving force behind a revolutionary development. To meet this challenge, Russian engineers initiated the creation of a twin-engine variant of the IL-96-400M powered by the next-generation PD-35 turbofan, a symbol of the nation's aerospace ambitions. The first PD-35 prototype successfully completed its initial test phase meeting and even exceeding all targeted parameters marking a major milestone for this country's aviation industry. Developed by the United Engine Corporation UEC, the PD-35 is a high-thrust turbofan designed for long-range, wide-body aircraft delivering significantly greater power and fuel efficiency compared to its predecessors. In essence, it represents an expanded, more powerful evolution of the PD-14, as officially confirmed by Rostec. During the International Engine Manufacturing Forum held from October 23rd to 25th, 2024, at the Exhibition of Achievements of the National Economy in Moscow. UEC showcased remarkable technological breakthroughs, including low-pressure turbine blades and exhaust fans produced with cutting-edge 3D printing technology, allowing for faster production, reduced material costs, and exceptionally precise geometries. A key advancement within the PD-35 lies in its enlarged core, derived from the PD-14 architecture, but featuring an additional stage at the outlet of the high-pressure compressor. The engine's specifications are striking approximately 35,000 kilograms of thrust, a fan diameter of 3.1 meters, an overall length of about 8 meters, and a weight of roughly 8 tons, delivering 16 kilonewtons more thrust than the PD-14. With this extraordinary performance, the PD-35 is expected to power a new generation of modern wide-body aircraft combining exceptional reliability, thrust efficiency, and long-range capability. Equally noteworthy is the use of advanced polymer composite fan blades, reinforced with carbon fiber, which reduces component weight by as much as 30%. This innovation alongside the application of 3D printing technology underscores UEC's commitment to lightweight materials and next-generation engineering solutions. Together, these developments pave the way for a new era of high-performance aircraft engines that are both efficient and durable. The PD-35 project began in 2016, and within a year, the initial design phase was completed. According to the original schedule, the prototype was planned to be ready by 2023 with full development finalized by 2025 and mass production beginning in 2028. However, the timeline was later adjusted as resources were reallocated to other key projects, namely the PD-14, PD-8, and PS-90A programs. As stated by the CEO and chief engineer of ODK Aviad Vigatel in 2022, this engine is now expected to reach completion between 2027 and 2028, despite the delay progress continues steadily. Each successful test brings the PD-35 closer to its ultimate goal, enabling Russia to field one of the most powerful, efficient, and technologically advanced jet engines ever developed. But do you see the paradox here? Actually, the PD-35 engine cannot be directly compared to GE and Rolls-Royce engines. Yet the emergence of an engine that may not even rival its Western counterparts has still managed to make industry giants like GE and RR uneasy. Why is that? The concern surrounding Moscow's PD-35 doesn't stem from its ability to immediately outperform market leaders like the GE9X or Trent XWB in terms of efficiency. Rather, it's about its potential to disrupt the long-standing duopoly that GE and RR hold over the global wide-body engine market. The threat lies in two strategic dimensions technological independence, and geopolitically driven export potential. First, with 35 tons of thrust, this engine will allow Russia to achieve full self-sufficiency in powering its large domestic aircraft, such as the IL-96-400M, eliminating dependence on Western suppliers, and completing a critical technological cycle, a long-term challenge to the dominance of GE and RR. Second, and perhaps more importantly, if successful, it could offer an alternative for nations that maintain close ties with Moscow or seek to diversify away from U.S.-European political influence. A prime example is its potential use in the wide-body aircraft project CR-929, now C-929, developed in collaboration with China. Beyond this, it serves as a foundation for a new generation of Russian aerospace technology, integrating composite materials, advanced compressor cores and FADEC control systems, signaling that Russia is gradually closing the gap in core engine technology. In short, the PD-35 threatens to break the Western monopoly and open a new market segment defined by geopolitics, where Western engines may be excluded, forcing major manufacturers to rethink their global strategies. Although not yet a world-beater, the PD-35 still demonstrates impressive progress.
Its development showcases a steady improvement in turbine inlet temperature, a key indicator of technological advancement. From early generation engines in the late 1940s operating at 876 degrees Celsius to today's fifth generation engines reaching one some 626 degrees Celsius, the leap in capability is remarkable. Currently, only about 15% of engines in service worldwide belong to this fifth generation. The engine's success builds on the achievements of its predecessor, the PD-14 Russia's first mass-produced fifth-generation engine. The PD-14 introduced 16 critical technologies such as single-crystal high-pressure turbine blades with advanced cooling systems capable of withstanding gas temperatures up to 2,000 degrees Celsius and wide hollow titanium fan blades that improved fan efficiency by 5% compared to the PS90. It also featured a low-emission combustion chamber made of advanced alloys, noise-absorbing composite structures, ceramic coatings for high-temperature components, and hollow low-pressure turbine blades. Looking ahead, the PD-35 is expected to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of Russian aviation. According to Russia's first deputy prime minister, Denis Mantarov, the engine is slated for mass production by 2030. Its potential applications include powering twin-engine wide-body airliners and heavy transport aircraft such as the modernized Ilyushin Il-96 and the An-124 Ruslan military freighter. Completing the initial testing phase marks not just a technical milestone, but also highlights Russia's growing capability in advanced aerospace manufacturing and its commitment to offering competitive solutions in the global aviation market. Besides, the integration of modern technologies like 3D printing and composite materials also represents a major leap in aircraft engine design. As it moves into further testing phases, this achievement underscores Moscow's ambition to secure a leading position in aerospace technology. This milestone in the PD-35 program represents the convergence of advanced materials, science cutting-edge manufacturing and precision engineering, laying the groundwork for Russia's next generation of aviation propulsion systems. As testing continues and development advances toward its 2030 production goal, it stands as clear proof of Moscow's determination to strengthen its domestic aviation industry through innovation and engineering excellence. What do you think will this project succeed and help the Il-96 400M thrive in the commercial market? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us and as always, safe travels.